everybody, DJ Campagna of Keller Williams on a mildly moist Wednesday morning. I am coming to you live um, on my way to a home inspection with my buddy Pete. I uh, got some folks, my folks actually, into contract on a house. And uh, part of the deal is, is when you're buying a house is you have a pest inspection and you have a home inspection and maybe possibly a roof inspection, a sewer lateral inspection. But the home inspection is pretty inclusive. You know, Pete's going to go into the attic. He's going to go into the crawl spaces. He's going to check and make sure it's structurally sound, uh, make sure that there is no um, evidence that the uh, house is honestly going to fall down. He's going to check the electrical panel. He's going to check the water pressure. Um, he's also going to check um, things like making sure all the appliances are functioning properly. It's pretty inclusive. It's several hours long. It goes through the whole house top to bottom, produces the super awesome report that he hands off um, at the end. Um, so let's go check it out and see what he's got going on. Pete, how are you? Hey, DJ. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah. yeah. I'm here with Pete Bame of uh, Heritage Home Inspections. We're here checking out this house in Roar Park and doing a home inspection on there. And I wanted to uh, have you, Pete, explain to our folks uh, what is the difference between a home inspection and a pest inspection? Okay. All right. Well, that's a good question. Um, pest inspectors are looking for three things, basically. They're looking for termites, they're looking for dry rot, and they're looking for fungal growth. Okay. So that's, that's about it, you know, and um, that's what they do. Okay. Now, a home inspector, on, our, on the other hand, we are looking for a lot of different things. We are looking for in, uh, issues up on the top of the roof, all the way to the bottom of the crawl space. So the structural integrity of the house is very important. Uh, plumbing is important. The electrical is important. Uh, your, your heating and cooling. And, and the way that the heating and cooling is transmitted through the house is very important. Insulation. I mean, we have a, a very long checklist of things that we look at for every inspection. And um, and anyhow, so yeah, it's, it takes us a while to do a good, good inspection. So if you're looking for things like uh, water pressure, right? You're looking at the electrical panel, make sure that yep. there's nothing weird going on there. Yep. Uh, maybe even uh, checking out things like the appliances, making sure those all function properly. Major appliances, absolutely, yeah. I mean, what we try to do is, we try to check things out that you, as, a, as the home buyer, have questions about. Yeah. And, and the things that are going to affect your life. So we just want to make sure that, for, you know, let's just say that the roof is not leaking or, you, or you've got, we want to make sure you don't have too much water in the crawl space because that, that can affect things negatively. But anyhow, we, we try to be as thorough as we can and we look at windows, doors, siding, <laughs> you name it, you know, that's what we look at yeah, and, and, and report about. And I would uh, like to take this moment to, uh, this moment to point out that Pete did the inspection on our home when Allison and I bought a house a number of years ago. and. He did such a great job that when we were doing inspections, he was the first person I called. And there are a lot of home inspectors out there. I just really prefer Pete because he's uh, super knowledgeable and his delivery to the clients is great. And we're going to go inside right now and take a look at some of the stuff he does. So, yeah, let's okay. check it out. Let's go. Yeah, I'll follow you. Hey, everybody, we're outside of the, uh, the house here. Nice. Uh -huh. Moist Wednesday morning. Uh, Pete, what are, you, what are you looking for out here? So what I'm looking right now um, for is, um, is the siding trim. Um, and what you see down here um, is uh, some deterioration right at the bottom down here of that plywood siding. So that's going to have to be replaced. Um, let's see the trim here. Okay. All right. So for the most part, things look pretty good out here, a little bit at the bottom. And then I'm going to take a look at the uh, AC unit. All right. All right. Let's keep this party going. All right. So we're up in uh, one of the bedrooms, and Pete's getting ready to climb up on the ladder to go up in the uh, attic. What are, you, what, are you, what are you looking for in the attic there? Well, you know, there's a number of things. Um, there's also, there's always the framing. Okay. Uh, whatever type of framing it might be. There's the decking. This is a day when it's raining out, so it's a good way to see if there's any, any rain coming in. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then when you're up there, you're also looking for insulation. Looking for attic ventilation, make sure there's some air flowing through the attic space. Okay. And then also uh, friendly rodents, you know, you've yeah. seen them a lot in the attic rodents spaces. Rodents of unusual size, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, have got to watch out for traps as you kind of come up these, you know, in the dark and things yeah. like that. But um, yeah, sometimes heating ducts, electrical, there's all kinds of things in the attic, you know. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Well, well, off you go then. Get up there. Go, good luck. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. If I hear you screaming, I'll uh, call 911, right? Call the National Guard. All right. All right, so uh, so Pete's are getting ready to go underneath the house here. Uh, what do you what, do, what are we looking for in the uh, in the belly of the beast? 
Well, belly of the beast is a good way to put it. I mean, you find just about everything down in the crawl space. What I like about crawl space is that nobody hides anything. Nothing yeah. is painted over, you know, everything is right in front of you. So you get to all see all the framing. You get to see uh, what kind of insulation is down there. Um, you get to see if there's, if there's uh, water intrusion, which is, um, you know, a big problem here in Northern California. Um, plumbing, electrical, heat ducts, all kinds of information down there. So it's like a big, big treasure hunt. Got it. Got yeah. it. Well, it's a good thing too. It's raining today. We can uh, see if there's any water streaming through the end of the Well, house, I certainly so, uh, hope not, because otherwise uh, yeah, I'll be right back out pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, you know, if it's deep, you know, deep water, I don't crawl through it. So. Cool. Well, we'll check in with you afterwards. We'll see what we find down there. Sounds good. Great. All right. All right. So, Pete, you came out of the uh, the, the the well there. Okay. What, anything exciting down there in the bottom? Uh, actually, this was a pretty boring. Uh, 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 Crawl space, and that's always good news. Yeah. Yeah. Um, really dry. Um, the insulation was good. All the uh, foundation walls looked great. Uh, all the wood members I saw, you know, the joists, the beams, the uh, post piers, everything looked good. Great. A um, few issues with um, some of the strapping for some of the waste piping. Sure. But I'll share those pictures in just a minute. Great, great, awesome. Well, thanks yeah. for that. Absolutely. Well, come on out. Hey folks, we're here at the Campania home office and I'm going over the report that Pete sent to me and my clients. And the cool thing was that right after Pete was done inspecting the house, uh, he had the clients meet us there and he went over all of his findings right there at the house with photos um, and pointed out to them exactly what was going on with the house. He pointed out um, that the dishwasher wasn't hooked up, um, that there was a slight issue with the electrical box outside. He uh, had photos of where the access was for the, uh, the water shut off, for the PG&E shut off, for the solar system up top. He had um, you know, some really good insight as to um, ways to maintain the outside of the property is to keep uh, moisture and whatnot from penetrating in there. And he also did a great job underneath the house pointing out things like the plumbing fixtures that were a little bit loose that just need to be strapped down again, um, things like that. So it was very, very detailed. And then he sent us over this beautiful 40-page report um, where he outlined all of those things, and you know, I sent that out to my clients as well, and we reviewed it over uh, over the phone together. And the great thing was is that there was nothing going on with this house that was of dire concern. Um, I've been in houses before where it needed a foundation, or there was standing water underneath it, or something to that effect. But this house, very very clean, very very solid house. Um, super super stoked with the result there. You know, my clients are moving forward and. And uh, they're going to really enjoy this this home. So if you have any questions about uh, home reports, please feel free to reach out to myself or Pete. Um, and if you have any questions, again, about what the difference is between a pest report and a home inspection and what those two things entail, again, please feel free to reach out to me anytime. I hope you have a great rest of your day and thanks for watching.